You're either developing good habits or bad habits. And we're still in that infant stage of developing our mentality and our football team. And uh, I told them now practice, football practice officially starts Thursday uh, when we put the pads on. But, you know, we have to get a lot better in her. You know, and it's our mental conditioning. It's being able to play through the team. It's being able to execute. You know, we have very little in right now. I know they're trying. Uh, but we have to step it up and now it's come Thursday. And obviously when the pads come on, you know, the game becomes a lot different. But again, I, I'm looking forward to just the individuals who can retain the information that they had in practice one and practice two, apply it to the field, and then also be able to take the knowledge that they learned that day with the install. But, you know, the big thing is, is we need to be a physical football team, and that's going to be born in practice. You know, and I think the more we continue to do it, obviously the more it becomes a habit. You know, and it's a different way that we live, and you got to practice it every day, you got to live it every day, you got to stress it, and you have to have meticulous attention to details. And so it's going to come with time, but every day we step out here, the big thing with this football team is they have to understand every time we step on the football field, there has to be a great sense of urgency. We have to keep in perspective that they should still be in high school. You know, but I tell you what, come August, they will reap the benefits, they will reap the rewards of enrolling early. Well, right now, you do have to be patient a little bit because everything is accelerated, and football is just a small part of it. You know, you look at, they're in a new setting, they have new friends, they're taking college classes and college uh, academic load. You know, so there's so many things around them that's not just football, it's everything added up. And they're doing a great job. Well, I think, you know, it's being a great teacher, it's understanding what they're going through, it's being patient in terms of how you approach them, how you teach them, but also there has to be a sense of urgency that we don't have time to wait. You know, the clock is ticking. We only, you know, we only get 15 opportunities, so every opportunity is gold. But uh, they are, they're doing a great job and they're increasing everything. But again, you have to also rely on your older players. You know, your leadership, your older players have to show them the expectations and teach them as well. Well, I think Justin brings a level of athleticism to us. You know, he can do a number of different things. He has a great skill set in terms of physicality, but also an athletic part as well. And, you know, the good thing about the tight end is their skill sets complement each other. But again, that's a position that really has, a, has, has to have a great sense of urgency each and every day. Brian's done a great job, and uh, he's back practicing, and I think we have to pick our spots, and we can't just throw him in there on every single rep, but, uh, you know, he's every bit as what we thought he'd be. He's bringing great leadership. Uh, he's doing a great job. Um, you know, we have a number of players that are doing that. You know, I'm going home last night. We have a number of players in the indoor working on their fundamentals by themselves, and that shows me that they're hungry and they're eager. And we have to have more guys come into practice with a more sense of urgency. And what happens is, is as practice comes and you ask about endurance, is you become in survival mode. And that's where your leadership is born through your times that you're fighting through things. And as much as anything, I'm trying to evaluate who our leadership is as well. You know, he's still going through his, his growing pains, but you can see the corner skill set that he has. He has corner skills, and we fully anticipate him helping us this year. Every individual is different. Each individual develops differently, you know, kind of on their own time frame a little bit. Obviously, we try to expedite the process, but, you know, that's what you try to really, really um, dig into, you know, with the junior college players, because when you bring a junior college player in, you're bringing them in for immediate help. And uh, we did our due diligence, and he's done a great job. And again, we're throwing so much at him. He's digesting everything from football to academics as well. You know, we can't get alarmed all of a sudden. All of a sudden, they're losing all this weight because here's what they've done. They've, lo they've lost body fat, and they've gained muscle. And so actually, our players are bigger and stronger up front, but they've lost weight. And that's what we have is, you know, I, I've, I firmly believe that Dave Lawson is one of the best strength coaches in the country. And he does a great job, and we do before and after pictures. And, you know, we have to get bigger as a football team, especially in the traps and the neck area, you know, and in the legs area. You know, that we have to get bigger. That's where your explosive movements are come. And to be a physical football team, you have to be a strong football team. And our players have really embraced it, and they've done a great job today. Well, I think it's a pride of who we are. I think it's a pride of what they're representing. And this is one of the most storied college football programs in the country. 
and our players have to take ownership in every team, whether it's Team 117, Team 118 a year from now, we're here to protect our tradition and build upon that tradition. And there's a standard of excellence that comes when you come to the University of Tennessee. And I, and I think it's those players understanding that. You know, we talk about, you know, you know, the, the, the deeper our, our tradition, you know, the deeper our standards, the tougher our pride, the deeper our pride is in everything that we do. And it's just the standard expectation in this football program, and we will not compromise. And uh, everyone's been uh, receptive. Our former players, I said, have been tremendous. Um, they've shown up. We've done it. They've done everything that we've asked of them. And we have to do a good job of giving back to them as well. And uh, I'm very proud of them. They've done a great job. I speak to a number of them each and every day. And uh, we're going to have a lot back on Saturday as well. And uh, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm proud to be the caretaker. And, uh, you know, I said it. They built this football program. This is their program. And uh, the other thing that I think that's, uh, that great programs have is our current players are starting to develop relationships with our former players. And I think that's big. And our football program right now has a lot of momentum in all aspects. I think people around the country understand what we have here at the University of Tennessee, and they're waiting for Tennessee to wake up, and we're waking up. And I think you see that in all aspects by the way we practice, the effort that our players are giving, the effort of our former players, and also in the recruiting process as well. You know, there's a lot of energy. I think this is a very prideful program. And so I think, you know, obviously the energy level of our coaching staff, our coaches have done a great job. Um, and I just, our administration's done a great job. I think it's a whole, um, it's, it's a whole effort on everyone. Our fan base has been tremendous, our former players. So when we talk about the Tennessee football family, that encompasses a lot of things. But we have a long ways to go. I'm just telling you. And uh, I'm very impatient, but with this football team, we're learning. But we have to come Thursday with a great sense of urgency. We have to come tomorrow in our lifting sessions, in our meeting, also with a great sense of urgency. And that's a, that's, that's a process that these players go through. They have to understand the magnitude and importance of spring football each and every day.